Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Do any of you feel like you're struggling and feel overwhelmed in 2023? If so, let's get started and talk about it. It is no secret that the last few years, last basically almost three years, have been a struggle for many folks. We first had the pandemic, nobody knew what to expect, and you know there's lots of different broken relationships and issues over that. In addition to that, inflation and fear of the unknown, that has put a strain on many of us. So many times when a new year comes, we're like, hey, a new chance, transformation, you know, and you get all excited and enthused, and then you're a month and a half into the new year, and you're feeling kind of disillusioned and disappointed because things are not working out the way that you would like. And I was kind of feeling a little bit of that, and I noticed why. Okay, all these years, whenever a new year comes, I have all these things that I want to do, or I think I want to do, and I have a list of a bunch of them that I think I, quote, should do. And I'm just going to name a few. One is learning to drive, and I actually have a video coming up really soon about driving. I would really love you guys to watch that, so stay tuned for that one coming up. You know, home repairs, deep cleaning, decluttering, learning new skills, savings challenges, all sorts of things. And this is just a few on the top of my list. Oh, dental work would be something else. There's a lot of them. Of course, a lot of the things you want to do all cost money. Can I get a hello on that? Yeah. You know, it's like, it'd be nice to work on some goals that didn't cost money. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I really, and whenever I think about that, I feel overwhelmed. And sometimes when I watch videos like the morning routine, hi, I get up at 4.30 and I, you know, have a quiet time and I journal, I do this. And, oh, I have a perfect evening routine. And I'll try to follow these routines and then I feel miserably and then I feel terrible about myself, you know. And then I even had a list there at the beginning of the year of 12 things, daily tasks I wanted to do every day. Uh, you know what? I felt like my life was a checklist and it was really demoralizing. I thought, forget that. And, you know, as a matter of fact, this last weekend, I want to share with you one thing I did. I actually sat around and I watched, after I did my you know product demo, I came home, I actually sat around and watched Netflix and binged watch the new season of You, which is on Netflix. I want to hear from you in the comments below. Do any of you have Netflix? And if so, have any of you seen that show and do you like it? Just quickly, off topic, random, I know, but I had to add that. But anyway, it got me thinking about all these things I want to do, and it just... I felt overwhelmed because I kind of think like, well, Dawn, all you have is one main focus this year. You should have all these other goals. But I thought, you know what? I am not doing that. You guys know on Mondays is my, I talk about my weight loss. And then once a, once a month, I'm checking with you guys about my weight and how many inches I've lost and all of that good stuff. Well, it got me thinking, no, Dawn, you've got to be focused. And I'm really glad that I don't have all these other things and all these other focuses going on because whenever I start thinking about all the stuff I just mentioned, overwhelm and depression and fail, feelings of failure set in. And I definitely don't want that. I don't know if you feel that way. I think many times the reason we do feel that way is we see all these fabulous YouTube videos of really encouraging, wonderful YouTube creators that are really changing and transforming their lives. And many of us maybe want to emulate some of the fabulous things they're doing. Nothing wrong with that. But this can be the issue for me is I might see, oh, well, look what they're doing with their nutrition. Look what they're doing about decluttering. Look what they're doing about the, you know, and there's all these different things and I want to do it all. And then I find out that I can't and I don't have a plan to do it all. And then I get disappointed. So this is kind of what I wanted to leave you guys with because of, you know, social media and having all of these types of things, you know, brought to our attention all the time. I think it's normal for us to want to compare our lives to others. Even if we say we don't do it, many of us do. I know I do. So this is what I'm kind of leaving you guys with today, a word of encouragement. If your year so far has not gone that great, whatever it is, you can have a do-over. Tear up that goal list, whatever it is. Start over. I know I've mentioned that before. And ask yourself this one question. Yes, there's a lot of things that would be fabulous for me to work on. There's a lot of areas I'd love to improve in my life. But right now, I want to focus on one thing. 
what is the most important thing that means the most to me that I want to work on right now. And whatever that is, figure out a plan, an action plan, and take action steps to make that happen. For me, it was my weight. Downloaded my fitness pal, I joined Tops, and I came up with a list of foods that I wanted to eat daily or at least weekly, and, and tracking my food every day. That is what I am doing. Now I'm starting to drink more water and incorporating exercise. So I'll continue on with that. But I am just staying hyper-focused on one thing, and I have to just keep bringing it back to the basics. Maybe you feel that way too. Remember, it is okay to start over again, and I really think it's important for us to ask ourselves, what's the number one thing that's the most important thing I want to work on right now? And get rid of all this other stuff that's going around in our head. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if any of you can relate to what I said. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.